has the he has the players attacking now at both ends on the ball defense closing out more aggressively and that's affecting Seattle right now because they didn't see it the first half and so it's taking them out of the rhythm and the advantage right now is to the UW Andrews now with 11 all in the first five and a half minutes of the second half 39 25 Is Powell. Gets it back out to Yuma Pig. Great D by Washington here. Baseline drive, Yuma Pig, and the foul is going to go on Gennard Giroux. It was 21 20 at halftime. The Huskies have put up 19 points in under six minutes and outscoring Seattle U 19 4 here in the second stanza. And that run, if you extend it back out, is now 28 to 6 for Washington since they trailed 19 to 11. And we got a whistle and another foul on Washington. It's going to go to Giroux, and he's going to have to come out. And again, Upshaw will come in. Now, Seattle U, really small on the floor now compared to what Washington can throw out there. You got Upshaw at 7 feet, you got Kemp at 6 11, and the tallest guy on the floor right now is Sunderhouse. At 6-9 for Seattle U. They throw it up to him. Nice catch there. Nice move. Turn around with the right hand. Oh, in and out. Heartbreaker there. For the junior from Conyers, Conyers Georgia. But Winters got a nice first half. Comes back in. He's up top. Guys are Williams Goss with it now. To Winters. And that one's picked off. Two on zero the other way. And Throw it down. Oh, he says, I'm going to lay it up. I'm 6'4. I can get up there and pack it with the best of them. Right now, what's happened is Goss has gone away from the middles. And so you're going against a 1 2 2. The problem is you, you have to have better spacing closer, not throw out far apart against that type of zone. And he's looking into Upshot. Double doesn't come. Wrap around pass to the far side. Winters. Now Nigel Williams Goss with it. Back to Upshot. Little right handed jump up, no good. He gets his own rebound. That's what I was talking about, Coach. Just yeah. the lack of sight. And a nice turnout tonight. It kind of gets everybody's mind in the area who's been solely on football. You know, it's all about football right now in November, but this gets everybody's mind. Hey, you know what? It's basketball season. Here's a 15 footer by Nigel Williams Goss in and up. Here come the Red Hawks on the push. They've looked much more spry. Since Bill Hogan's taken to the mic here the last couple minutes, but as I say that, a turnover, and Goss comes the other way for Washington. 7.56 left to go. Winters the drive. Kick back to the corner. Now Nigel Williams Goss. Inside to Kemp, lay it up and in. I think, I think I could guard the governor. You think I think, you I, think I, I think well, I guard the governor. He's pretty big. He might post yeah, you up. I'd, 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 I'd uh, hit, him, hit him low, I think. <laughs> How's the other programs doing right now? Phenomenal. Uh, women's soccer got to the uh, second round and lost in PKs today, but oh. had an outstanding season. Men's soccer finished one half game out of first and had a really good year. Uh, volleyball is having a phenomenal year also there in the black tournament, so looks good. You got to just uh, finish off the fall and get ready for the for the winter sports. Here's Goss now inside the camp, who's got 11 on the game. Mike Anderson throws it up, no good. Oh, he another rebound. Yeah. 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 Yeah.